Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy here. A few years ago, robot colors were pretty simple. If you bought a Fennec, it was yellow. If you bought a Kuka or an ABB, it was a shade of orange. If you bought a Motoman, it was blue, and so on. But nowadays, robot manufacturers are more flexible in regard to their robot's color. They will either use multiple colors or materials for their robot, or they will let you pick whatever color you want so the robot you buy fits exactly your branding. Today we'll learn how to make the best looking robot possible, either for a robot you imported and created yourself, or for a robot you downloaded from our online library. Let's get started. In a previous video, we learned how to create this cool bot from scratch. We learned how to import the 3D model and animate it. Unfortunately, this 3D model doesn't include any colors. It's off-white and that's it. But this robot should look a bit like this. There should be some black on the joints, some metallic gray for the base and the flange, and the rest is completely white. I can fix that at two different stages of the robot building process. Either by fixing the colors on the reference 3D model, or by changing the color directly on the created robot. I'll go for the second option, but note that both options are pretty similar in terms of process. So tools, change color. If you select the 3D model, you will see the actual color. In this case, it's just off-white. Now I can select, select faces, and select the faces I want to change colors. Like here with the joints. So I use the click and drag selection tool for that, as it's generally faster. Once I selected the faces, I click the color and select a new color. In this case, I want almost black, so something like this. As I want to have the same color for other pieces, I will copy the value here. So select and control C. So now the color is on my clickboard and I can apply it to other group of faces. So let's finish this robot coloring. Okay, let's add some gray for the base and the flange. Okay, cool. And here too. That clearly looks better. And it only took me a few minutes. One thing I can also do is simply change one specific color. So either from a custom robot or from a robot you took directly from our online library. So if I reopen the KUKA robot we built together, we can select it and potentially just change the orange color for something else. So we could go for red, let's say. That looks great. Or we could go for green. That also looks pretty cool. So this way you can really have a robot that fits your branding properly. As you can see, it's that easy to customize a robot. So I think it's pretty cool. So that you know, this technique also applies to any other object you imported in your station. That's pretty much everything for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This way you won't miss any new content like this one. If you have any technical questions, visit our online forum. Our team will be super happy to help you. In any case, have a great day, guys.